Go to yourcentralvalley.com now to see the CBS 47 CyberSafe Parent Program. Eyewitness News is always available at yourcentralvalley.com. Eyewitness News starts now. Next on Eyewitness News at 7, police make an arrest in connection with a hot prowl burglary, but the search continues for a second suspect. And a dangerous crime spree ends when suspects run right into a police officer. Sunshine, seasonal temperatures this weekend, a big storm for Thanksgiving in your pinpoint forecast. This is Murrow and Emmy Award winning CBS 47 Eyewitness News at 7. Good evening. Thanks for tuning us in. I'm Ken Malloy. And I'm Catherine Herr. We begin with developing news tonight. A Fresno family shaken up after a man broke into their home this morning, all while a mother and her four-year-old daughter hid in the bathroom. CBS 47's Kirsten Mitchell live at Florence and Rachel Avenues in a nearby neighborhood. And Kirsten, this suspect is still on the loose. Ken and Catherine deputies have been scouring this neighborhood all day looking for that man. Though we are a few miles away from where that break-in actually happened, they say they found the suspect's car abandoned right down this street. They say it all started before 10 at a home on Fowler and Jensen. Deputies say a woman and her four-year-old daughter were home and heard someone ring their doorbell, then rattled the door. They say the two then hid in the bathroom and called 911. And the woman's husband, who works close, close by, deputies say the husband drove home right away and found a gray Buick parked in his driveway and a woman standing nearby. Investigators say the woman called to the man inside the home and he came out and pointed a gun at the husband. They then took off. The husband followed their car and flagged down a Fresno police officer, sparking a manhunt in the area for hours. He was able to get a good description of where they were headed, um, you know, tell us what type of car, and it did allow police and our deputies to get to that area pretty quickly and we found the car. The woman who was on standby outside the home was arrested. Deputies say it was 22-year-old Keone Wyrick. Deputies are still looking for the man who broke into the home. He's described as a black man in his 20s, 6 foot tall, weighing 165 pounds. He is clean shaven and has dreadlocks and was last seen wearing a blue shirt and light blue jeans. Now, several schools were put on lockdown while this was happening. Deputies are now asking anyone who has any home security camera footage and they may have noticed something suspicious on it to turn it over to them so they can help capture this suspect. Reporting live in Fresno, Kirsten Mitchell, CBS 47 Eyewitness News. Kirsten, thank you much. Also in developing news in Fresno, a dangerous crime spree comes to an end. Two robbery suspects are caught after a police chase and a crash. This all started around 1120 this morning with a call of an attempted armed robbery at a liquor store on North Blackstone and Griffith. Police say a man went in with a gun and his face covered, but he ended up running outside when he saw it was full of customers inside. A woman was driving the getaway car. 40 minutes later, a business at Belmont and Fresno Street was robbed. Police were able Able to connect the two crimes. They later spotted the suspect and after a police chase there was a crash. He's getting ready to uh, engage in the pursuit or at least to set up in case the guy leg bells. They lost control here, smacked I think the side of his vehicle. Police arrested 24-year-old Brittany Monzo along with 30-year-old Martin Barajas. They say Barajas was on probation for a drug offense. Fresno police have beefed up patrols in the neighborhood rocked by Sunday's mass shooting. They've moved more Hmong officers into that neighborhood to eliminate things like language barriers. One neighbor there says he hopes the extra patrols will continue for a while. I hope they keep up with the patrolling until uh, maybe in, uh, we know that, that the violence and shooting has uh, stopped. Police say they are exploring some leads on suspects. In the meantime, if you know anything, you're asked to contact the Fresno Police Department. In news from around the state, investigators say the teenager who killed two students and injured three others at a Santa Clarita high school last week used what's known as a kit gun. The buyers don't need to undergo background checks, and they are almost impossible to trace. They're sold at gun shows, for example. You can buy them online, and they're also known as an 80% gun. So 80% of it is assembled already. You get the additional 20%, and they're sold as a kit. And then you can legally buy it, assemble the weapon yourself, and then you have a gun that is not registered, and no one knows that you have it. 
Investigators don't know if the 16-year-old built the gun himself or if his father did. At one point, his father owned six registered firearms, which were removed from the home and destroyed before he died of natural causes in 2017. In the South Valley, the second day of jury deliberations continued today in the murder trial of Erica Sandoval. The 33-year-old confessed to killing her ex-husband, Exeter Police Officer Daniel Green, back in 2015. The jury has asked to review some of the evidence. Her attorney says there was a large amount of evidence and testimony in this case. Uh, and a lot of times when you talk to a jury after a case like this, they'll tell you that it took, um, you know, two or three days just to review the evidence they'd been given before they could actually start drilling down on what they think the evidence shows. The jury is considering either manslaughter charges or murder lying in wait. Jury deliberations continue tomorrow. She was last seen walking to school and now Mendota police are looking for a missing 14-year-old girl. Officers say that Vivian Juarez was last seen walking to Mendota High School on Tuesday morning. They believe at the time of her disappearance, she may have been en route to Mexicali with 23-year-old Octavio Lujan. Police say he has now been located, but there's still no word on the teenager's whereabouts. She was last seen with a gray and red Victoria's Secret backpack. Anyone with any information on where she might be is asked to contact the Mendota Police Department. Good evening to you. I'm CBS 47 meteorologist Justin Sacher. So we've got sunny skies in for us for the weekend this weekend with seasonal temperatures. It was a nice day today. It's nice outside right now, though it is dark. We're going to take a look through our Valley Cam Network powered by Master Storage 365. And this is a live view from our camera at V Street and Highway 99 in Merced. It is nearly 50 degrees right now in Merced. Winds are calm and temperatures throughout the area continuing to drop. Though today we did see a little rise over yesterday and these highs are actually running a few degrees above what's average for this time of year. In Madera, 67 degrees. In Merced, 66, 58. The current temperature here in Fresno, it's 53 in Visalia. We'll show you this potent storm system heading our way to cause traffic troubles for Thanksgiving. It's coming up in your full pinpoint weather forecast. Justin, thank you for that. Well, you can get into the holiday spirit with some handmade cards made by some Fresno County students. The Office of Fresno County Superintendent of Schools created an art program for students in special education so they could create something for the community. For months, the students have been hand painting greeting cards representing the four seasons. They plan to sell the cards and all the proceeds will support arts enrichment curriculum for special education students. They not only have created the artwork, as you can see behind me, they're packaging them, they're putting them uh, into bags uh, to, to, to distribute to the public. So, you know, they put 110% into it if that's possible. And, you know, we love them and we want our community to know that, uh, you know, they are definitely worth loving back. Educators say plan ahead. They only created 550 packs with 15 cards in each bundle. They go on sale to the public on Monday, December 2nd at Kids Cafe in downtown Fresno. Great idea. Nice looking cards, too. They really yeah, are. Very nice. Coming up next on Eyewitness News at 7, a win for President Trump in the fight over his tax returns, but California lawmakers say they're not finished yet. Issues and indifference. You have questions. You need help. CBS 47 is on your side, investigating the issues you care about, working to get you answers, justice, and restitution. To be your voice, to be on your side. Murrow and Emmy Award winning Eyewitness News investigates with Eric Rosales and the entire Eyewitness News team on CBS 47. Eyewitness News. In the market for a new vehicle? Pick the easy way. Lithia Nissan of Clovis is changing the way you buy a car in the Central Valley. At Lithia Nissan of Clovis, we promise to get you gone in 60 minutes or less, guaranteed. Go to NissanofClovis.com to find the vehicle you want. Get pre-approved. Then send an appointment for a time that works for you. Once you're here, we promise to get you gone in 60 minutes or less, or we'll give you a lifetime of oil changes. Lithia Nissan of Clovis. Doing it your way. NissanofClovis.com. The season is here.
it's time for our best offer of the year during the Ford Black Friday event. Now, for a limited time, get an amazing offer on select Ford models, plus earn complimentary maintenance through Ford Pass Rewards. The Ford Black Friday event ends soon, so hurry in today. Now, lease the completely reimagined 2020 Ford Explorer for just $399 per month, or drive home with 0% financing plus $2,500 bonus cash. Now yourcentralvalley.com pros who know. When planning to purchase your home, start saving for your down payment early. Explore down payment and mortgage options by calling your local lender, Country Club Mortgage, today. For more expert advice, go to yourcentralvalley.com slash pros who know. Win this car! Entries for the next CBS 47 Renew Ride start in late November. This is CBS 47 Eyewitness News. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has been indicted on allegations of corruption. He's accused of bribery, fraud, and breach of trust. He allegedly offered bribes in exchange for favorable news coverage. And he also is accused of accepting a gift in exchange for diplomatic and political favors. Netanyahu is calling the allegations an attempted coup. President Trump won't have to release his tax returns in order to get on the California ballot next year. Capitol Bureau reporter Ashley Zavala explains why. California Republicans are rejoicing. The state Supreme Court unanimously rejected a new state law that would have required President Trump to release his tax returns in order to have his name on the March primary ballot. Justices Thursday said the law, also known as SB 27, violates the state constitution's requirement of an inclusive and open presidential primary. So this was just a farce in order to um, suppress voter turnout on the Republican side. So I'm very thankful that the Supreme Court saw this. So my hope is it's an availability for us to claw back. In a separate federal court battle, the state hoped to appeal a judge's temporary block of the law. The Secretary of State's office said Thursday it will seek the dismissal of federal appeals related to SB 27. In a statement, Secretary of State Alex Badia wrote in part, At this particular moment in our nation's history, improving the disclosure of political candidates' economic interests is one of the best ways to improve public faith in our government. While we are disappointed in today's ruling, the movement for greater transparency will endure. After failed attempts to get previous California Governor Jerry Brown to approve, Governor Gavin Newsom signed SB 27 into law in July. That's when the Republican Party sued. Newsom's office Thursday urged Congress and other states to take action to require presidential candidates to disclose tax returns. The president has cited an audit of the IRS as a reason to keep his returns private. In Sacramento, Ashley Zavala, Cron 4 News. In Sacramento, Ashley... And Justin is, has a look at your full pinpoint weather forecast next. We're looking at a nice weekend ahead, but next week, just in time for Thanksgiving, a wintry storm system. It's all next in your pinpoint weather forecast. Next ET, we're taking our show to Berlin with guest co-host Michael B. Jordan. Oh man, it's like I'm trying not to smile so hard right now, but it's really hard. Next ET. Tonight at 7.30, only CBS 47. The Kia Holiday Sticker Sales Event is going on now at Future Kia of Clovis. Get zero APR financing for 66 months, plus up to 2,000 Kia bonus cash on specially tagged vehicles. Save big now at Future Kia of Clovis or ClovisKia.com 24-7. Hey, it's your Sandman here. Down here. I bet you didn't know getting rid of your old mattress was so easy. Your retailer can pick it up when they deliver your new one, drop it off at a participating Bye Bye Mattress location, or contact your city about curbside pickup. Then your old mattress may be recycled into lots of new, useful things. It's like a big old swipe right for the earth. Visit ByeByeMattress.com for details. I got 50% off everything. We got an HDTV for 29 bucks. Yeah, we did. <laughs> this one saved an arm and a leg. Black Friday doesn't have to hurt. At Central Valley Honda Dealers, 14 days of Black Friday. Get door-busting deals without busting anything at all. On Accord with Honda Sensing Safety Feature Standard. On Civic, CRV, and more. So this Black Friday, enjoy a way better ride. See your Central Valley Honda dealer. Just because we're super hungry. Doesn't mean you gotta spend a lot. Because Denny's brought back the Super Slam. With eggs, hash browns, bacon, sausage, and pancakes. All for just $6.99. The $6.99 Super Slam is back. See you at Denny's. This is Attorney Tom Dunyon. It's my husband. A big truck hit him on Highway 99. Can you come to the hospital? Absolutely. If a big truck like this hurts you, we'll make you our number one priority. Call us. 
It's just that easy. The Kia Holiday Sticker Sales Event is going on now at Future Kia of Clovis. Get big holiday savings on over 200 new Kias, including 65 tough and ready SUVs, Kia Sportage, Sorento, and Telluride. Save big now at Future Kia of Clovis or CloviskiaCom 24-7. CBS 47 Eyewitness News is always available at yourcentralvalley.com. Now, your CBS 47 pinpoint weather forecast. Good evening to you. I'm CBS 47 meteorologist Justin Sacher. We saw a big drop in temperatures this week with that dry storm system that passed. Did get a little snow in the mountains. Next week's storm system will come right before Thanksgiving. It will drop temperatures again, and this time bring a lot more rain and snow. Outside right now, it's 58 in Fresno, 50 degrees down in Hanford, 53 in Visalia, and temperatures cooling elsewhere quickly in the 30s already in Shaver Lake. Temperatures today did warm a little over yesterday and it put us a couple degrees above what's average for this time of year. The average is 63 for the high and today's high was 67, but it's still a big difference. Solar forecast from Renewable Solar showing good electricity generation. Now that these clouds are clearing out of the way, we're expecting clear skies for uh, much of the rest of the week here. Uh, it's just one more day and then the weekend ahead. We are looking at another storm system next week and this one looks to be a powerful one. We're still a week out and a lot can change between now and then. However, the setup is coming together for a direct hit from this wintry storm system. It brings snow to mountain areas looking at a couple feet of snow. So and valley rain that could be a half an inch or more and this is over the course from late Tuesday on through Wednesday and then the system continues to move its way to the south, causing trouble on roads like the Grapevine, the Hatchaby, the Highway 58 that passes from here to the Bay Area. So it is really going to cause some trouble, if not uh, um, a lot of rain and snow for our area and our surrounding mountains. Air quality right now is good, and air quality tomorrow expected to be pretty good. Moderate still in Fresno and Kings County, in Fresno County, wood burning restricted to registered devices. Low pollen in the air from Dr. Amaminian and the Allergy Institute. While temperatures tonight fall into the low 40s in Fresno, 39 in Kerman, 38 in uh, Chowchilla and Merced, also very close to the 30s. Temperatures tomorrow in the 60s, pushing up to around 66 to 67 degrees here in the valley, just to Fresno and the south of Fresno, and looking at 40 degrees tonight from Kingsburg to uh, Selma to places like Visalia in the mountains. 21 tonight at Huntington Lake, 38 in Yosemite Valley, 40 degrees in Mariposa with highs tomorrow that will be cool from 45 up at Huntington Lake into the 60s, getting closer to Prather and Aubury. Temperatures moderate through the weekend this weekend, and those uh, freezing levels return uh, pretty high up in the mountains. They take a big drop coming later in the week ahead, the days leading up to Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is on Thursday, and we're going to start to see some showers as early as late Tuesday night with rain Wednesday, and then Thursday, big drop in temperatures then. Chances are much of the food on your table this Thanksgiving comes from right here in the valley with one notable exception. We explain in this week's Eye on Ag. From the turkeys to the trimming, nuts to wine, even the whipped cream on top of your pumpkin pie, the valley is a world leader in so many foods. But there's one Thanksgiving staple we do not grow, the cranberry. Cranberries need cold weather, lots of cold. They require more chilling hours or time where temperatures are near freezing than most other fruit. And water, lots of water. Cranberries grow in wetlands. The fields, known as bogs, are flooded with a foot and a half of water for harvest. These are in New Jersey. It's called wet harvesting. Cranberries are loosened from the vines and float to the surface where they're corralled and collected. Since cold weather is about as abundant as surplus water here in the valley, it's not likely we'll ever enjoy locally grown cranberries on Thanksgiving. You can find this story and more from our Eye on Ag series on our app and on our website, yourcentralvalley.com.
So it's kind of cool. Most of our dinner comes from here. <laughs> it does. Except for the cranberry. Except for the cranberry. As my husband would say, that comes in a can. <laughs> yes. <laughs> exactly. And here it does. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Justin. Coming up on Eyewitness News, do you ever think about the impact that a restaurant meal has on the environment? Well, some do, and how it's changing their practices. Next. Your grades are lower than expected because Sheldon broke the curve. They don't seem happy about it. The university wants Sheldon to go there full time. What I like about you. He's just so young for college. The school actually gets more funding because of Sheldon. What's it going to take to keep y'all here? This is a key to the faculty restaurant. And unlike the other restrooms, this one gets cleaned every night. Thank you. A new young Sheldon, tonight at 8, 7 central on CBS. Hey. Carl Jr. Well, if it isn't Big Carl, you fixing to sauce me up? Sick those beefy twins on this cheese hound. Scram, Big Mac. Go play with your extra toy bun. The adults are getting meaty. Carl's Jr., you know what you want. With Black Friday savings all month long, now is the best time to buy at Lithia Nissan of Fresno. With four IIHS top safety pick vehicles to choose from, you'll get a great deal on a Nissan with intelligent safety features. You can drive safe and save with prices like these. Right now, you can lease a 2019 Sentra for only $99 a month plus tax. And with our Deal and a Meal program, getting a car and lunch is as easy as one, two, three. Hurry in and save at Lithia Nissan of Fresno today. Shop, save, done. Experience Africa like never before at Fresno Chaffee Zoo. Watch animals graze on wide open savannas. Get up close and personal. Learn about majestic species and enjoy lunch with a view. Only at Fresno Chaffee Zoo. It's Black Friday savings now till December 4th at Central Distributing. Choose this Whirlpool Suite at 35% off or this KitchenAid Suite at 40% off and save up to 40% on refrigerators, ranges, and laundry. Get the best deals of the year now at Central Distributing. Black Friday is on at Lithia Ford of Fresno. Shop big Black Friday deals all month long. Save 20% off MSRP and all new Ford F-150 XLTs. 90 to choose from. And that's not all. Save big on this one. This one. This one, too. Don't forget this one. This one. And, of course, this one. Some of our best-selling models, not just one to choose from, but every one in stock with deals too big to miss. Black Friday is on all month long. Get to Lithia Ford of Fresno. Carl's Jr. They call you really big Carl. Must be those triple sauce meat heaps. How about you cloak me in cheese? Drape me in a three-piece patty suit like a beef tycoon. Carl's Jr., you know what you want. Win this car! Entries for the next CBS 47 Renew Ride start in late November. This is CBS 47 Eyewitness News. Cases of vaping-related lung injuries are rising. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention say more than 2,200 cases have been reported in 49 states, as well as in Washington, D.C. and the U.S. Virgin Islands. This is an increase of 118 from just last week. At least 47 deaths have been reported in 25 states and the nation's capital, but more are under investigation. And the latest data shows the average age of those who, is, who have died is 53 years old. Well, some restaurants across the country are trying to reduce their carbon footprint. For instance, in Los Angeles, some restaurants there are trying to offer great food along with an increased effort to have a zero carbon footprint. They're taking action and taking into account everything from how the deliveries are made to choosing vendors that are committed to renewable farming. So I think we're all in this day and age moving forward with what's best for the environment, what's best for your body, what's best for your health. Anywhere you dine or shop, if they're into the good food movement, and food is always going to taste better. And it's not just the food and the drinks that they're focused on. They say that 60% of their total waste is also recyclable. In Massachusetts, a woman is giving thanks after a ring that she lost at work was returned. 80-year-old Jan McGuire works as a part-time bagger at a supermarket, and while she was working, she realized her wedding ring was missing. She knew it had to be in somebody's bag. The ring had been on her finger since 1960, and it was the only memory left of her late husband. She posted about it on Facebook. That plea for help was shared nearly 3,000 times. Everybody was playing to St. Anthony, and I, I lose so many things. I was afraid he said, the heck with her, but he'd worked out. It worked out. 
A few days later, someone returned the ring to customer service. And she doesn't know who her guardian angel is, but says she's very thankful. And now, though, she plans to wear the ring uh, securely around her neck and close to her heart. Macy's annual Thanksgiving Day Parade is a week away, and to get people excited, the flagship store unveiled its holiday windows today. The theme of this year's windows is Believe in Wonder. The six windows take spectators through the journey of a little girl who wishes to be Santa and her dog, Willow, who pretends to be a reindeer. Macy's first began this tradition of animated windows back in 1899. And a magical night going on right now in Clovis. Take a look at these live pictures of one enchanted evening. It's happening in Old Town Clovis. People are enjoying hot cocoa, complimentary horse-drawn carriage rides, and shopping at the stores in Old Town. This event runs for about another 30 minutes until 8 o'clock tonight. What a lot of fun. I was looking at the video live to see if I could see my wife. She's there. Beautiful oh, night for it. Yeah. Coming up next on Eyewitness News at 7, two diving champs took turns diving into a very special pool in India. From Botox to B12, discover the fountain of youth at Body Del Sol. This nationally recognized and awarded green medical spa offers you the gift of luxury with enhancement packages and the highest levels of service and satisfaction. Love your body by Body Del Sol. The fall used car sellathon is going on now at Future Ford of Clovis. Over 119 certified Fords to choose from. F-150 Explorer, Expedition, and more. Get big selection and low prices now at Future Ford of Clovis and futurefordclovis.com 24-7. The season is here. And it's time for our best offer of the year during the Ford Black Friday event. Now, for a limited time, get an amazing offer on select Ford models. Plus, earn complimentary maintenance through Ford Pass Rewards. The Ford Black Friday event ends soon, so hurry in today. Now, get F-150 with 0% financing for 72 months. Or drive home with 8250 total cash. Only at your California Ford dealers. CVS customers are better. Thanks to everything from helpful reminders to pre-sorted prescription packs. CVS customers are better thanks to free prescription savings reviews, home delivery, and more. No wonder CVS customers are better than most at staying on their prescriptions, which tends to make you healthier. And what could be better than that? Treat yourself well at CVS. The Black Friday event is happening now. Get zero for 72 on all 2019 F-150s and Mustangs before you buy anywhere else. Bring us any dealer's Black Friday offer and let us show you what future can do. Future Ford of Clovis. A unique challenge that is not for those afraid of heights. Two diving champs took turns diving into an 18th century pool in India up to 65 feet high. The water well was originally built for drinking in the 1740s, and today it serves as the city's unofficial swimming pool. Holy no, smokes. thank you. Yeah, not going Oof. backwards, not going forward. Oh my gosh. No I mean, thanks. beautiful form, Yeah. but yeah. I think I'd have a heart attack that yeah. high up. <laughs> <laughs> Scary. Wow. Yeah, it's a beautiful well too, but Wow, that's quite a height. We are looking <laughs> at uh, temperatures to fall, not quite that dramatically, but they will be much cooler going through this time next week, right in time for Thanksgiving. Okay, thanks, Justin. That'll do it for this edition of Eyewitness News at 7. We'll see you back here tonight at 11. Until then, have a great evening. CBS 47 Eyewitness News is on air, online, and on the go. Take Eyewitness News with you and share your stories with us on Facebook, Twitter, and on yourcentralvalley.com. Caregiving for an older adult can be challenging. Valley Caregiver Resource Center can support you through this journey with education, respite care, legal consultations, and support groups. To learn more, call or click Valley Caregiver Resource Center. At Rite Aid, we give flu shots to the people we all count on. Like Sally, who gets our kids to school safely. Look both ways. And especially you, because you need to stay healthy for everyone who counts on you. Get your flu shot at Rite Aid today. Describe healthy. Feeling strong. Feeling strong and happy. Yearly checkups. Going to every well check. Taking time for me. Feeling good. 
CalViva Health. Healthy is a local health care plan at no cost to you. Hey, Central Cali, tune in to my radio station, Q971. Hey, Greg and Dre. I listen to you guys every day. Q971 plays the best music. Good toward your choice of sleep.